Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy and I'm coming with another spring tutorial with this natural flowers seed beads bracelet. If you're new here, consider subscribing because I'm making matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done and in this way you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. I have matching earrings to this bracelet that are really beautiful and here they are at the eye icon you could check them out if you want and down there in description you will also find a full list of materials linked to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials i will be so happy to see your creations you could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are six colors of 11 o seed beads or you could use 10 o seed beads if you want. I use black, red, orange, yellow, light green and dark green colors. Here I'm using lobster's claw clasp and a jump ring. This is monofilm and that is 0 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters and you could use other beading thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle, of course you could use size 11 or 12. Here I'm using scissors and I use pliers. Uh, if you're not familiar with beading at all, maybe you should start with introduction to beading series. Uh, to see everything about the seed beads and the threads and all the instruments and you will see this playlist here at the eye icon. Okay, so now I'm going to take about 3 feet of thread on my needle which is about 90 centimeters and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and what I'm going to pick up are 12 black beads. Okay, and I have my 12 on my needle and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and how I'm making it, I'm making here a loop and I'm going twice through the loop I've made and I pull. Now what I do is that I make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. And when you pull make sure you are between those two beads where you started your knot from. Okay, and now I'm going here through some beads in this direction. Okay, now what I want to do in my next step is take two red beads and I'm going back here in circle just like this. Then what I do, you see what I have, here I have a loop between those black beads and the red beads, you see a loop of thread, okay, and I pull. Then what I do is that I go through the following two black beads on my circle. You see where I'm exiting after the next two black beads. And what I need to take are two red beads and I go back here in circle through these two blacks. Again the final result is a loop between those two and the other two. Okay, now I go through the following two. Okay, and what I do is that I take again two red beads and I go back through these two, but if, if I want to save time, I will also go through the following two. In this way, I will save one movement that I need to do right after I make this loop. Okay, I have this. Okay, and now I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, now I have this and in my next step I want to go through this red one here. 
in this direction okay and now it's not obligatory but i prefer to flip my work like this because when i start working i want to go in this direction okay and here what i want to take is an orange and yellow and an orange okay this is what i have and as i'm exiting through one of the reds i'm going through the other one okay when i pull like this to the center this is what i have now i want to take one black bead and i'm going through the following red in this direction i have this and here i need an orange and yellow and an orange exit through one and go through the other one pull take just one go in the next again these three beads go in the following one black go here in the next thread okay and now i will continue this until the end of this row Okay guys and pay attention here at my last step where I'm going. I'm going through this red bead. Don't make the mistake to go through the upper orange bead. Sometimes new beaders do that mistake. Okay and here what I want to take are five more beads that are orange, three yellows, and an orange and as i'm exiting through this orange here i'm skipping the yellow in the center and i'm going in the next orange and in the following red okay now i have this and in my next step i want to go here in this direction through as many beads as i can in this case i went through the black and through the red and my goal is to exit out of my next orange and then again orange three yellows and orange okay this is what i have and i skip the yellow here and go through as many beads as i can in this direction okay then I'm aiming for this orange okay I'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end of this row okay do this three more times and I'll meet you okay guys and here I am at my last step of this row where I'm adding my last five beads if you couldn't do this, just rewind the video, see how I'm doing the three steps, the first three steps, and repeat them from the other side. Now I will show you what I have in my next row. Okay. What I want to do is go through all of those beads here. These three yellows at the top and the orange after that. Okay. So now you see where I'm exiting. I'm exiting between these two orange beads at one side of my petals and I take two black beads and I'm going in the same place between the two orange of my next petal okay now I will go through 
all of those beads and again exit between those two orange beads at one side of my work take two black beads and go here in the same place between the next two orange beads of my next petal okay and i'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end uh, if you forgot how i'm doing it you could always rewind and repeat the three first steps one more time to finish all the six petals in this way okay see you in a while okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last two black beads between the last two petals and in the same place between these orange beads here then what i need to do is go through all of the three yellow beads just like this all the three of them and i'm going to pick up three dark green beads just like this okay and as i'm exiting here i want to go here in this next three yellows at the top okay just like this then again in my next step i'm taking three dark green beads and I'm going through these three yellows here at the top. Then I'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end. Sometimes you can't go through three of them. So first go through one or two and then through the others. Okay, see you in a while okay guys and here i am at this yellow beads the last three yellows and now what i'm going to do is exit through first of those three newly added dark green beads and here i'm going to take three light or uh, light green beads and i'm skipping the central one you see and i'm going through the third one exiting out of the first I'm going through the third and then I want to go through the first yellow here and I'm going to pick up three red beads skipping uh, the central yellow I'm going through the third yellow okay then I go through the first green And I'm going to pick up three light green, skip the central and go through the third one. And then if you can through the first yellow, then I'm taking three dark red beads, red beads. I skip the next yellow and go through the third yellow and then through the following green, three, light greens skip the green that's on my way go through the following and also through the yellow if you can in one movement and then three more red skip the central yellow and exit out of the next green okay and i will continue this until the end rewind if you can't remember how i'm doing it and meet me in a while okay guys and now i'm adding my last three beads from this row okay guys and i'm ready and what i want to do is make a knot and cut my thread and how i'm making it i'm making here a loop and i'm going once then i'm going second time through this loop i've made and i pull then i go through the following seed bead and you could repeat this knot several times when you're ready go through the next seed bead and cut your thread never cut next to a knot okay and now i'm going to show you the next flower in a while okay guys and my next flower i'm starting the same way i'm picking up 12 seed beads of this beautiful black color uh, but now I took two feet of thread 
instead of uh, 3 feet of thread, this is 60 centimeters. Okay, 12. I'm sliding those down, stick my needle here, and I'm going to make a knot. I'm making it by making a loop and going twice. Then I make one more knot. Okay, like this, and this is a really secure knot called half hitch knot or surgeon's knot. Now, uh, what I do is that I go through some beads in this direction, and I'm going to take a red bead, an orange bead, and a red bead. I skip the one that's on my way, the black one that's on my way, so this one, and I go through the following. Okay, now this is what I have. I will show you again a red, an orange, and a red. Now, as I'm exiting through this one, I'm skipping the one that's on my way and I go through the third one. First, third, first, third. I'm alternating them. Okay, and then again a red, an orange, and a red. Skip and go here. Like this. Okay, and I'm going to continue this three more times. Okay, guys, and I'm here. Pay attention, I'm going through this first black bead that I started my work from, and this is where I go last and now what I do is that I go through the red bead and I'm going to pick up five yellows okay here I have my five yellows and as I'm skipping the, the orange one I'm going through the red okay now I have this then I go through the red one. Again, what I want to take are five yellows. Skip the orange and go through the red and if you can also through the black one in one movement. Just to save time. Then go through the red. Then I'm going to pick up five again. Okay, skip the orange and go through the red. Okay, and I will continue this until the end and meet you here. Okay, and I'm here where I'm adding my last five beads from this row. And don't worry that these petals move around. We'll fix them now. Okay, how we do this, go through all of those beads in this direction, now go through this top bead that's sticking out the most and through the next one. Okay, now take two dark green beads, two of them, and as you exit here one bead after this top bead that's sticking out the most, go in the same place one bead, but this time before the one that's sticking out the most. Okay, then through the next bead after the top bead that's sticking out the most, take two and go here one bead before the one that's sticking out the most or between those, those two yellow beads at one side of my petal okay then again and you see how they stay in a straight line when i go through them like this okay okay i'll finish and meet you here okay guys and here i have my last two 
green beads and I'm going between those two yellows just like this now what I need to take are three red beads and as I'm exiting here through this yellow I'm skipping the one that's sticking out the most and going through the next yellow just like this you see now I go through these two dark green beads here and I'm going to take three light green beads and I'm going back in circle through these two dark greens and I also exit it through the first yellow here take three red beads skip the central yellow and go through the next yellow and if you can in one movement you could go through the next two greens it's not obligatory but it's easier and faster so I take three, go back through these two and through the following yellow. Then I take three reds, skip the yellow that's on my way and go through the yellow and through the next two green beads. And then again three greens and go back and go through the following yellow okay guys and i will continue this until the end and i'll be back okay and i'm adding here my last three green beads and what i want to do next is make a knot and i will choose a place to make a knot let's say here at the edge make a loop go once go second time through this loop you've made and pull and then go through the following two beads and then cut your thread okay now these two flowers are ready and I will take a new half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back to show you how to connect them in a bracelet. Okay guys, and I repeated this process several more times and now I have four big flowers and three small flowers. This is the length I want for my bracelet. You could do a smaller brace bracelet, let's say remove one of the elements or a longer one but this is what I would like to achieve so now uh, what I need to do uh, is start my bracelet and assemble it how I'm going to do this I'm taking one of the biggest elements here I go through some beads with my new thread okay and then I want to attach it here to this element how I do this, I'm making a loop like I showed you before and I'm holding the tail thread with my thumbnail and I'm going twice through the loop I've made and I pull. Okay, now my new thread is attached to my work. Okay, and what I want to do is go through some beads in this direction and I want to exit through one of the green beads that are sticking out the most okay I want to exit here and I want to cut this tail thread okay you could do some more knots if you want now I will show you how I'm attaching my clasp here this is my clasp you could choose any type of clasp you like so i'm going to take here two green beads my clasp and then i'm going to take two more green beads okay this is what i have i'm taking dark green color for assembling i'm going to use the dark green color you could use other color of your choice now i'm going to reinforce this joint here
Now guys, what I want to do is go through this flower here at this point where I'm going to attach my next element. Okay, and here I'm ex exiting at this point where I'm going to attach my next smaller element. And how I'm going to do this, I'm taking a dark green bead and as I'm exiting through this top bead here with the light green, I'm going through the other top of my next element with the light green. And then I take a dark green again and I go back okay now I have this and I'm going to reinforce okay now I will go through all of those beads and exit through the opposite green here and then I will attach one of my larger elements, larger flowers, just like I showed you in a while. And I will continue this until the end of this bracelet. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys. And as I connected all of those elements the same way I showed you, this is what I have. And just a few explanations how I got here. I connected those last two elements, then I went around the same way through all of those beads and again I exited here at my last step where I want to show you how to attach your jump ring. Uh, you could attach it with pliers or without pliers. Now I will show you how I'm doing it without pliers. So what I need to take here are five dark green beads. Okay, five. I'm taking then my jump ring and I'm going back here through this green bead in circle. Now I'm going to reinforce here and make a knot and I show you this so many times so I'm not showing it again and my bracelet will be ready. Okay guys, so now my natural flower seed beads bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button. And in this way, you will be inspired often and you will be able to make beautiful matching sets. If you remember, I have a tutorial for earrings matching this bracelet and you'll see them here at the eye icon. And uh, it's easy to make. I'm showing step by step. So I'm sure you will be able to make really beautiful projects down there in description. You will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see your creations. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. So it was all from me. Bye bye guys.